Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Wow! Check out this volcano. This is an active volcano, and it is erupting. Just look at the lava flowing down its sides. Lava is actually rock, but its temperature is so burning hot that it has turned into liquid. But it's not only lava that a volcano releases. There's also hot ash, steam, and rocks. Don't get too close. This volcano and its lava can cause a lot of destruction to the land around it. It can damage plants, roads, buildings, and homes, and even hurt humans. We can't really stop acts of nature like volcanic eruptions, but we can do our best to plan for them. How can we stay safe in situations like this? Let's take a look at some of the mighty solutions scientists and engineers have created to reduce the impact of extreme forces of nature. Scientists are able to predict a lot of things. When it will snow, what the temperature will be on a given day, and even when a volcano is going to erupt. But how can they possibly know something like that? Scientists use many different tools to closely monitor volcanoes. They are always developing new techniques to help them better predict when an eruption might occur. Would you believe that one way they observe volcanoes is from space? That's right. We are able to get information about the depths of Earth from far away from Earth. That's the power of science. That's amazing. Satellites up in space use radars to detect changes in the volcano. Let me explain. Pressure builds up inside a volcano as gas bubbles form in magma. Gas bubbles need to escape, causing the volcano to erupt. It's the hot magma underground that actually pushes the volcano upward. The radar from satellites is able to bounce waves off of the volcano, and if the waves take a shorter time to get back to the satellite, that means that the volcano has pushed upward. This type of technology wasn't around even 20 years ago. So with the new technology we have, we are much better at predicting eruptions today than we were back then. Another way that scientists work to predict volcanic eruptions is to monitor the gases that the volcano is releasing into the atmosphere. When magma is moving beneath the surface, gases are released from the volcano. If scientists notice a change in the mixture of gases being released, it could mean an eruption is coming. Scientists can monitor the gases of a volcano on land or from space. Isn't it incredible that we have tools to track volcanoes from space? It totally blows my mind. Scientists have other tools that can help predict when a volcano might erupt. When magma moves underground, the land shakes, causing a type of earthquake. A special instrument called a seismograph can detect this shaking and warn scientists that magma is shifting underground. All of these tools are used by scientists to make predictions about when a volcano will erupt. This critical information can save lives and help us. Earthquakes are another example of natural events that can cause major damage for us humans. Similar to volcanoes, when a severe earthquake occurs, buildings, bridges, and homes can be destroyed. Engineers have been working to come up with ways to keep people safe during an earthquake. They have asked questions like, how can buildings be made to withstand the effects of an earthquake? What kind of structure would be best to be able to withstand the shaking of the Earth's surface? Through asking these types of questions, engineers have designed and created ways to make earthquake-resistant buildings. These buildings might be damaged by earthquakes, but they will not collapse. This keeps the people inside safe. Engineers do this by using certain building materials when constructing structures. If you were to create a building, what types of materials would you use to make it safer in an earthquake? Would you choose a building made completely of concrete 
or one that had its concrete reinforced with steel. Engineers have found that steel reinforced concrete is much stronger and would hold up better in an earthquake. But in places where severe earthquakes occur, it may not be enough. The way to protect buildings from earthquakes is to prevent them from shaking when the ground shakes. Engineers have come up with an amazing way to do this. They create structures that lift the building off of the base or foundation of the building using flexible pads created from rubber and metal. This serves as a shock absorber, similar to how sneakers absorb the impact of our foot hitting the ground when we run. When an earthquake hits, only the base of the building moves, helping the building stay steady. Allowing the base of the building to move helps to keep the building from collapsing. This means that the people inside the building can be protected from the effects of the earthquake. There are many other solutions that engineer teams are working on, such as using different types of building materials or building special rings into the ground around a building that can absorb the vibration of an earthquake. So incredible! These people are so smart. Scientists and engineers are constantly working on ways to protect humans from the dangers of disasters like earthquakes, volcanoes, or tsunami. Through careful observations and cutting-edge ideas, humans today are safer from these types of events than ever before. All right, mighty scientists, what ideas do you have to help keep people safe when a natural disaster occurs? Share your ideas with us or with your friends. I'll see you soon. Stay mighty, scientists.